What's going on YouTube fam? Micah here shooting another high adventure video. There is no rhyme or reason to today's video. I am just out literally exploring. I'm actually in the bottom of what you can see is a dried up creek bed. Uh, looks like a little finger off of the main river. I am just out and about hunting, looking around. I want to see what this water looks like. We're in about middle of October. The water should start to be dropping and I just want to see, I, I have no plans for today. I'm going to just go fish. We might see if there are some crawdads out and about. Um, I don't know. We're just, we're just going to start at one spot and we're just going to go hunting around and see what the river provides us today. And we're just going to have a lot of fun. Let's get started. I've got something over here. What is this? Looks like a backpack. It is a backpack. Oh, check this out. Somebody was drying their sock out. Fantastic. What is this? This looks like a pretty nice bag. Wow, look at this. Looks like it's a little torn. Might have been stolen. Somebody rummaged through it down here. Great, now my DNA is on it. Well, I get the police banging at my door. Saying, hey, found your DNA on a backpack, which is part of a crime. That would be my luck. Pinnacle 60L, maybe somebody can tell me if that is expensive or not, but looks uh, looks to be abandoned, nothing in it. Crazy. Here we go, here's the water. Got a bridge right there. Where I'm standing right now, as you can see, I, I would usually be standing in the water. You can see there, water runs up still some standing water down here so this water uh has only gone down recently it looks like maybe in the past week or so so we'll see but let's let's tie something on let's see if the fish are biting there we go so the first bait i'm going to start off with today i'm using a little rapala brown trout colored um jerk bait i'm using four pound test line and i've had really good luck on this in the past in this river we'll see here we go and we are underway. Oh, I got him. Oh, there was a trout. Oh, that was a nice one. That was a nice one. That was probably about 12 or 14, probably about 14 inches. That's what we're after. That was a rainbow though. That was a bow. There he is. Got him, I saw him follow it up. Yeah, <laughs> nice. I knew there's, oh, there he goes, shoot. Not very big, but it was a trout. I'm just looking at this area going, gosh, this just has to be good fishing in here. It's like perfect depth and everything. Sure enough. This looks kind of promising. This is really cool. Got him. Got him. There we go. That's a brownie right there. That's a brownie. Yes. I think. That is really brown. No, it's a sucker. No, no, oh, no, it's a brown trout. Whoa, cool. Cool. That is what we're after. Look at that, guys. Yes. Look at that. Look at the beautiful colors on that fish right there. That is absolutely amazing. Right on that little brown trout colored jerk bait. Good fight. Probably about a pound and a quarter, I'd say. Probably about 15 inches long. Oh, that is a beautiful fish. Let's get this hook out. Kind of got him in the nostril a little bit. Pretty fish. Look at that. Absolutely fun catch. That is what I've been after all year. I'm going to go ahead and let her go. Or him. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. Boom. Got another one. There we go. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. But I don't know if it's a brownie or not, but it feels like a good fish. That's a big bow. Look at this. Yes. Whoa. There's the jump. <laughs> Look at this. 
Come here, baby. Oh my gosh, guys, this is a beautiful trout. Look at that. Another beautiful, beautiful fish. My goodness, not quite as big, but now this one's a bow. This is a rainbow. Unbelievable. Just a beautiful fish. Probably about 14 inches long or so, I'd say. Look at that, just gobbled that jerkbait right up. We gotta get that out of his mouth. Oh, there we go. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. Sweet, awesome. Guys, two for two. All right, guys, two for two. One brown, one bow. Here's the deal, though. It's getting late, and I am so far away from where I began. I'm in, I'm in uncharted territory for me. I've never fished this area of the river before, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go back home, regroup, I'm gonna jump on Google Maps. We're gonna take a look at this whole area from a bird's eye view. Then I'm gonna come out here first thing in the morning. We're gonna throw down a little catch and cook. We're gonna catch one of these bad boys up. We're gonna throw down a delicious recipe because I've been chasing trout all day long, all day long in a lot of the high population areas of Boise. And just, it's been real sparse. It's been actually a fairly tough day of fishing until I come to this area of the river and just bam, two trout in a row. So we're gonna go home, get a good night's sleep, wake up, maybe grab a donut, and uh, we're gonna come back out here first thing in the morning, so stay tuned. Welcome back, YouTube fam. It's the following morning. I've got my maple bar. I've got my coffee in my old grandma mug. I'm gonna start now today right where I left off yesterday, where I caught those two fish right out of that hole, and we've got a whole massive stretch of river to go investigate. I'm really excited because actually I went home and I had a couple buddies tell me this is actually their spawning season, like through mid-October, like they're supposed to be on fire. Nice chilly fall morning. Let's get after it. Here. Okay, so a lot of people have been after me saying, get a net, get a net. So I listened. Got me a nice little net here. We are ready to net, hopefully, some big trout. I really hope this comes in handy today. I hope I've got like a five pound brownie on and he won't even fit in here, but we're ready to go. Right. I have literally been excited for this moment since last night. In the water, first cast. Got him. <laughs> first cast, guys. First cast. I think it's a brownie. I think I saw it. Yep, it's a brown trout. Oh, this is a good fighter. Look at this. First cast. Oh my word, this is even bigger than yesterday's fish. This is even bigger. Oh, gotta get my net. Net at the ready. Look at this. Oh my heavens, guys. Look at how beautiful this fish is. Net him up. Yes, look at that. What? First cast. Look at that fish, guys. What a beautiful beautiful looking trout right there. Somebody said that they're super aggressive this time of year. First cast. I'll bet that's about 16 inches long or so. Just super good fight. Still aggressive. There he is. Oh, he got off. Dang it. That felt like another good fish. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I, I'm really surprised I, they can, he must have just barely, he tasted the hooks, unfortunately. Felt like a good, oh, I don't know. That might've been a hit, don't, can't tell. All right, so I caught one in that last spot and had another one on. We're gonna move up river a little bit. I see a lot of log jam and stuff up here. This looks really good. This whole area looks good. It just feels like brown trout country. Good grief, if there's a place for brown trout to spawn, this looks like it's where it would be. Whoa! That was, oh my gosh, that was a nice one. I mean, it went, he just tried to come up and smoke it. He never tasted the hooks. My hook was foul hooked on the line. Let's see if we can get him come up again. Just absolutely tried to come up and smoke it. That was way cool. All right, so we're on to the next spot. Got some nice little headwaters up here. I see all kinds of like there, strips of sand all along here, probably about three or four feet deep over there. 
So we're gonna start at the headwaters, work our way down. Got a nice, nice strip here. Let's, there's gotta be something in here, I gotta think. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Oh, there is, got it. Yes. <laughs> right there. I don't have my net with me. There we go. Pretty little brownie. Ugh. Look at that. Yeah, that's awesome. Look at that. Smoked it. I saw him come up and smack it right in that little deep area. All right, so I'm going to switch it up again. Look at that. I've got a little brown trout colored spinner. Decent size, a little bit more low pro profile than that uh, jerk bait, but I'm out of jerk baits that are in brown trout color. So we're gonna give this a go. I think this will still work, but that looks looks pretty sweet to me. Got him. Oh, right in that, right in that pool over there. Don't know what it is. We smashed it. Smashed it. Oh, another brownie. Another brownie. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. Woohoo! Absolutely crushed it. That's a pretty one. Yes. Look at that one, right on that brown trout colored spinner bait that's a pretty fish that's like right at 12 inches guys i might keep this one because i want to eat one today and this isn't a big one like some of the other ones i'm catching this is right at probably 12 inches and so that way i can make sure i cook something up today we might go ahead and keep this guy let the bigger ones go but keep a smaller one here awesome Check it out guys, oh gosh, I wanted sand. I got sand galore, this is like all one big sand bed right down here. Let's throw, it looks a little deeper on that side, let's throw down there, see if we've got anything around here. Oh, there was one, I just saw him totally. Oh, there he got him, got him, <laughs> he came back for it. Another brownie, another brownie. I saw him miss it, because that spinner's going right along the surface. Another pretty fish right here. Look at this guys, check this out. Check this out, yeah. Oh my goodness, what an absolutely fantastic day. Look at this. I saw him miss it the first time. Oh, 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 what a strong fish. These brown trout are just absolutely strong as a bull. Look at that, laying right in. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Oh my goodness, oh my word. Look at that beautiful fish. That's an absolutely stunning looking fish. That is incredible. That is truly incredible. I love that. Oh, oh. And she looks like she's ready to go. We'll get her back in the water. Awesome, awesome fish. All right guys, so I've tied on literally the classic, the most classic uh, spinner just what I'm hoping is is that gold color is what they'll key in on got a little bit of red in there Got a little silver flash also have a good chance for some rainbows on that I mean obviously I have a good chance for anything But I'm hoping that gold color is what those brownies will key in on because it seems like they really like Anything that has a little brown trout look to it Oh, there's one got it Boom, what is this? This might be a bow, this is a rainbow. I think, no, nope, it's a brownie, another little brownie. Well, that's good to know that color's still working. Look at that, awesome. Another little fish, not huge, but it's a fish. On that, on that other color. Nope, oh, nope, nope, let's not flail around here. Oh, there's one, got him. Oh, nice. This is a nice fish. This is a, a rainbow, I think. This is a rainbow, oh yeah. 
check this out guys. Right in that small area, right by all this wood, this is a beautiful rainbow trout right here. Look at that. Oh my goodness heavens. Oh, just sitting right down, just sitting right down there. Oh, right in the corner of the mouth. I saw her come up, she missed it the first time. Smoked it the second time, look at that. Beautiful fish, absolutely beautiful fish. Oh. Let's cast back up there, maybe there's something else in there. Oh, there's another one, look at that, two. Right in that area, another rainbow. Yeah. No, that's a brownie. Another beautiful brownie. I can't tell sometimes by the color. Look at that. Woo! Oh, guys. Two in a row, right by this wood. Unbelievable. What an absolutely incredible, incredible fishing experience today. I wanted brownies. I have gotten them in a major, major way. Look at that, just smoked. Just absolutely smoked it. Again, he said it's my turn. I want this bait this time. Jam of wood. I'm gonna try to stay back from the edge a little bit. Oh, got him. Oh, there he is. Oh, I was just jigging it. Beautiful rainbow trout. Look at this. I think it's a rainbow. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I was just jigging it down there in the deep. I thought there's got to be something down there, right? Oh, no, 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 no. Do not go in the wood. No, 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 no. Oh, this isn't good. This is not good. I have four pound test line on. This wasn't what I had envisioned. Okay. First, I got to ditch the backpack. And then I got to hope that he's not too much of a goober here. Okay, there we go. Net him up. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this big old bow. Look at this big old bow. That's the biggest. I think it's bigger than the last one. Oh, jeez, Louise. All right, guys. So I just lost that last spinner because I'm the king of snags. I'm going to give this guy a try. Super yellow, like a mustard yellow with some red spinner spots on it. I also found this one in the river. So we're gonna, we're gonna give this one a go. See if uh, we can reuse them and catch a fish. That'd actually be pretty cool. Skip it under that. Oh, got him. Right there immediately. Bam! Right by that tree. Looks like... What do we have? Another brownie. <laughs> yes! Woo! Another one. In the words of DJ Khaled. Another one. Oh, yeah. Look at that, guys. Pretty fish. Probably about 12 inches. Ugh. Immediately. They are just so aggressive. It's almost like you know if they're going to be in an area or not right away. All right, gang, we are going to cook this trout up that I caught today, the smaller brown trout. I actually don't think I've ever tried brown trout before. So I have my little skillet right here and a little gas propane tank so we can cook this bad boy up right here fresh on the riverbank. And today's recipe is actually gonna be pretty simple. I have just got salt and pepper and a teriyaki sauce. This is like a marinade. This isn't like as watery as normal teriyaki sauce. It has like a sesame seeds in it. And uh, that's what we're gonna be cooking that fish up in today. And a little bit of butter. So pretty simple recipe. I'm excited to see how brown trout tastes. Very first time. All right, so we got the heat on. The first thing we're gonna do is start with some butter and get it melted down. All right, so our butter's melted down. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of that teriyaki marinade. I want a little of that to heat up as well. Those skillets always heat up a little more than other, other pans. It's looking really good. So here's our trout. I've actually cut it up into two different pieces. Take a look at that though. Got a really good pink tint to it. We're just gonna put both those pieces right into our little griddle like that. Then add salt. 
and pepper. Check it out, guys. It smells absolutely delicious. That brown trout just slow cooking in that marinade. Turn that heat down so it's cooking, but look at that. Look at that marinade just bubbling in there. I'm gonna let it cook for quite a while on one side so I don't have to flip it multiple times. So we're just gonna cook it down for a couple more minutes on this side. Then we'll flip it once, cook it on that side, let it slow cook in that marinade, soak up as many of those juices as possible. Then we'll be ready to eat. I'm hungry. All right. Guys, I can't describe to you how, how delicious this is smelling. It's unbelievable. That teriyaki marinade. I'm really excited to try this fish. That looks great. We'll do a little salt and pepper on this side as well. Let that finish cooking. All right, guys, there is the finished product right there. It smells really good. Let's give it a try. First time with ye old brown trout. Really excited for this. Really excited. Oh man, it just peels right off the bone. Dredge it around in some of that sauce there. Look at that nice big flavorful piece of meat. Sauce dripping off of it. Wow. You can't go wrong with that teriyaki marinade, guys. I, I Unbelievable. I mean, look at that. Big chunks peeling right off the bone. Mmm. Delicious. It, it doesn't get any fresher than that. You want fresh fish? Go catch it yourself. Cook it right up on a nice, cool fall day. Mmm. The whole rib cage comes right out. Now look, that's just one big piece of meat that I can just set right in that marinade. And now, mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh, guys, what an absolutely epic day of fishing. I can't remember the last time I had that much fun fishing. I mean, and I have fun every time I go out fishing, don't get me wrong, but like, I can't even describe it. Days like today are days I'm glad I shoot videos because I can't describe a day like today to somebody. I mean, I, sh I fished brand new waters just a beautiful gorgeous river in the middle of fall it's like 65 degrees out guys I didn't see a single other person fishing out here I mean I felt like I had the entire river to myself and I, I pretty much did at catching these beautiful brown trout and rainbow trout I think I ended up with like seven or eight brown trout and, and three or four rainbow trout I mean just absolutely fantastic I hope you guys had as much fun watching that as I did filming it because I had a blast. Hope it inspires you guys to get out, have your own adventures. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the recipe as well. I will see you guys in the next one.